Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You are watching South Asia Newsline and have the top stories we are tracking for you on Tuesday the 26th of December. Indian Navy deploys major warships to counter attacks in Arabian Sea. Mumbai attack mastermind Hafiz Saeed's son to contest elections in Pakistan. And mass men attack by those protesters in Islamabad sit-in continues. And now for all the details. Amid a recent attack by a suspected drone on a merchant vessel near the Indian coastline, the Indian Navy on Monday said it has deployed multiple guided missile destroyers, including INS Mormagao, INS Kochi and INS Kolkata in various areas of the Arabian Sea to maintain a deterrent presence. Long-range maritime reconnaissance PHI aircraft are being regularly tasked to maintain domain awareness, the Navy said in a statement. The merchant vessel MV Kemp Pluto, a Liberian flag tanker which was en route to Mangalore, came under attack on Saturday leading to an explosion and fire. The Navy and the Indian Coast Guard dispatched patrol vessels and surveillance aircrafts to assist the commercial ship which docked in Mumbai. Western Naval Command along with close coordination with the Coast Guard and all concerned agencies were monitoring the situation. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has also said the government is concerned about the attack and added whosoever was the mastermind will be dealt seriously. आजकल समुद्र में हलचल कुछ ज्यादा बढ़ गई है भारत की बढ़ती आर्थिक और सामरिक ताकत ने कुछ ताकतों को इर्ष्यावर द्वेष से भर दिया है अरब सागर में हाल में हुए यमी चैंप प्लूटो पर ड्रोन हमले और कुछ पहले लाल सागर में यमी साईं बाबा पर हुए हमले को भारत सरकार ने बहुत ही गंभीरता पूर्वक लिया है भारतीय सौनौसेना ने समुद्र की निगरानी बढ़ा दी है जिन्होंने भी इस हमले को अंजाम दिया है उन्हें हम सागर तल से भी ढूंढ निकालेंगे और उनके खिलाफ कठोर कार्रवाई की जाएगी मैं यहां आपको आश्वस्त करना चाहता हूं इंडियन प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी ऑन ट्यूजडे टुक पार्ट इन इवेंट टू कमेमोरेट वीर बाल दिवस in remembrance of sahib zadas the four sons of guru gobind singh the 10th sikh spiritual leader addressing the gathering pm modi said with the observance of veer bal divas a new chapter has begun in the amrit kal of the country's independence he said the day makes one remember that tender age has nothing to do when it comes to bravery he said say gurus have taught indians to live for the glory of their land वीर बाल दिवस भारतीयता की रक्षा के लिए कुछ भी कुछ भी कर गुजरने के संकल्प का प्रतीक है ये दिन हमें याद दिलाता है कि शौर्य की पराकाष्ठा के समय कम आयु मायने नहीं रखती द फोर सन्स ऑफ गुरु गोबिंद सिंह लेट डाउन देयर लाइफ इन द इयर सेवेंटीन ओ फोर वाइल डिफेंडिंग देयर फेथ ड्यूरिंग द रूल ऑफ मुगर एम्पर औरंगजेब While the elder ones Sahib Zada Ajit Singh and Jujhar Singh attained martyrdom in the battlefield the younger ones Sahib Zada Zorawar Singh and Fateh Singh were bricked alive at the tender age of 7 and 5 by Mughal forces as they refused to forcibly convert to Islam A new political front organization Pakistan Markazi Muslim League backed by 2611 Mumbai terror attacks mastermind Hafiz Saeed has nominated his son Talha Saeed to contest the upcoming elections saying it wants to make Pakistan an Islamic welfare state Saeed the founder of Lashkar-e-Taiba has been in jail since 2019 after being convicted in multiple terror finance cases For the 2024 polls the PMML has been formed because of a ban on the Milli Muslim League notably PMML had contested in the 2018 general election as well 
but under the guise of Mili Muslim League, the political face of Pan JOD, which is the front organization for the LET. The US has placed a $10 million bounty on Sahid, a UN designated terrorist. Moving on, mass men allegedly carrying guns harassed Baloch protesters in Islamabad early on Tuesday. The protest leaders have claimed these are tactics by Pakistani authorities to threaten them for raising voices against rights violations. Masked men carrying guns allegedly harassed Baloch protesters who are holding a sit-in near Islamabad and stole away the speaker at the site in the wee hours of Tuesday. The Baloch Yakjati committee blamed the police were present when the incident happened and said these are the tactics of the law enforcement agencies to threaten the protesters who are raising voice against extrajudicial killings and abductions. Protest leader Maharang Baloch pleaded for global intervention against the ongoing genocide in Balochistan. Baloch genocide has been going on for decades in Balochistan in which thousands of our elders, youth, children and women have forcibly disappeared. Our people are being extrajudicially killed and our people are being forcibly displaced from their hometowns. The activist further said the ongoing movement began from Tarbat before transitioning into a peaceful long march to reach capital Islamabad. However, the authorities responded with extreme force on 20th of December, employing false FIRs, physical violence and arrests. Around 100 activists still remain in police custody. The Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, in its latest report has ranked Bangladesh the third among food importing countries for importing around 12.5 million tons of food products from the global market in 2021. China ranks first while the Philippines comes second in the list. The food products imported by Bangladesh included wheat, edible oil and milk powder. Experts say relying on imports for basic food necessities is a poor solution in the long term given the high costs. That is why the report indicates while the cost of these imported food products is high, their per capita consumption is the lowest in Bangladesh. Thousands of Ahir women dressed in red and orange sarees danced in huge concentric circles in Dwarka in India's western Gujarat state this past weekend in an act of spiritual offering to Hindu god Lord Krishna. Drone footage showcased the extraordinary display known as the Maharas that is also marked with prayers of world peace, unity and prosperity. Local media reported around 37,000 women took part in an explosion of colour against the golden sand. Dwarka, the ancient coastal city of Gujarat, is believed to be the site of Lord Krishna's kingdom. The Ras dance is believed to be 5,000 years old. यहाँ जो समर्पण है वो सभी के लिए है आ, सभी आ, मानव जाति के लिए है कि हम सब समरस रहे साथ रहे और हमेशा स्वस्थ और प्रगतिमय रहे ईश्वर की कृपा हम सब पे हमेशा बनी रहे भगवान श्री कृष्ण भगवान श्री द्वारकाधीश की कृपा हम सभी पे बनी रहे इसी आस्था के साथ आज एक महाराज जिसका हम सब ने साक्षात्कार किया एक अद्भुत दृश्य था इस पेढ़ी को आने वाली पेढ़ी को हम बताना चाहते हैं कि हमने भी हमारी पेढ़ी को हमारे वेशभूषा को ऐसे कायम ही रखा है उसी तरह अब भी इसे कायम ही रखें जय द्वारका देश टैग टीवी ब्रिंग्स यू डेली न्यूज बुलेटिन फ्रॉम इंडिया ब्रेकिंग न्यूज एंड व्यूज फ्रॉम इंडिया 